Hey what's going on guys welcome to Game of Point this is your host Amog and I'm back with another MIUI 8 update video for you all Now in this video I'm going to update my Redmi Note 3 to the MIUI 8 version 6.10.13 beta So just yesterday I posted a video about MIUI 8 6.9.20 and beta update So if you guys haven't checked out that video then do check out that link will be in the description as well as on the top right corner and today morning just I got this MIUI 8 6.10.13 update Now as you guys can read from the release note it's quite lengthy to read that means there are a lot of new changes coming in this update the update is of just 52 megabytes so as you guys can see there are a lot of new changes new optimization and lot of bug fixes about this update so i'm just going to quickly update my Redmi Note 3 to this rom and then i'll show you what are the new features of this update and is it worth or it's not so you guys can just pause the screen to read the full release note here Now without wasting any time I'm just going to quickly download this rom and then I'll show you the next steps that you need to do before updating. So let's just quickly download this rom first. So as you guys can see the download speed is again a little bit slow. Uh, if you guys don't know then Xiaomi servers are a little bit slow when it comes to download the rom. So even though you are running on a fast Wi-Fi connection the download speed will be pretty much slow as you guys can see I'm getting around 500 to 600 kbps of download speed whereas I'm running on a 10 mbps Wi-Fi plan. So yes it should take a long time but as this update is of just 52 megabytes so I don't think so it will take a long time it should be done within 2 to 3 minutes So what I'll do is I'll just quickly skip this download part and then jump to the next screen uh, where I'll show you the next steps that you need to do for updating your phone So now as you guys can see the update is completely downloaded and now it's again just decrypting the update So again it should be done pretty fast cause the update is of just 52 megabytes if the update is more than 1 GB then the decrypting will take a long time so now the update is completely downloaded and the device is ready to reboot so you have option whether to update right now or you can just simply update later and schedule your update for the later part so that you can restart your phone whenever you want but as of now I'm just going to quickly going to update right now and then I'll show you the new features that you can find in this update so guys now the device is updated and As you guys can see the interface is still exactly the same so as that was mentioned in the release note also that there will not be any huge changes in the user interface so the interface is still exactly the same there's no many changes here it's exactly the same like it was earlier so now let me just quickly show you the about the device page but before that here as you guys can see here it says device is updated and tap to view the device info so let's just quickly go there and see the current version and everything so let's just go there and here as you guys can see here it says no updates available and the miui version is miui 8 6.10.13 so now as you guys can see here in the what's new section again it will show the same release note that was in the update part so here i'll just quickly go through everything so you can just simply pause the screen to see the release note again So before I'll give you an overview of the new features in this update let me just quickly go first to the about the device page and show you the everything which has changed or not so here the interface and everything is still the same the icons and everything is still the same so in the about the device page here it says the android version is still 6.0.1 the security patch level is again of july 1 so it's also not changed yet and the miui version is 6.10.13 beta So here nothing has changed basically everything is just still the same apart from the MIUI version. So now let me just quickly go to the storage to show you the available space. So now here the available space is 6.54 GB. Earlier before the update I was having something around 6.4 GB so again just hardly 100 or 200 MB has been added back. So now let me just quickly show you one interesting thing here. My phone's cache data is 480 MB that is almost 500 MB. So I'm just going to quickly clear all the cache data. So you guys might expect that after clearing 500 MB, so your phone storage will be around 7 GB. After adding it to 6.5 GB, it should be around 7 GB. But that's not the case. So as you guys can see, now my current space is 7.67 GB. That is more than 1 GB. So more than 1 GB data has been added back on my phone. So I don't know it's a bug or some what, but uh, you when you clear the cache data, your actual storage is increased more than what it was showing in the cache file. and apart from that nothing has changed everything the interface and everything still looks the same nothing has changed basically so now let me just quickly go to the updater app and show you the what's new features and from there i'll just quickly show you one by one new features that has been added in this rom 
so let me just show you a demo about the first highlighting part here it says that they have added a copy button for the messages and also they have extended the time for the floating notification about the verification messages so let's say you got a message here from any company about the verification code or which has any kind of otp so for example let me show you a quick demo here so here as you guys can see i have got a message which has an otp and now as it said in the release note also that they have extended the time for the floating notification so the message here is floating for a longer time compared to the normal messages i guess it has been increased for more than 4 to 5 seconds so now the message was shown for more than a longer time and here they have added this copy button where you can just simply click on this copy button and then the otp the otp which was mentioned in the message that will be copied but if i recall this feature was already added in the miui 8 update about this copying otp thing is already added back few time back i don't know if it, there's any new change or it's just exactly the same so let's see and now let me just show you a new second change here that in this security app you can notice a new tool here that is known as automated tasks and by using this you can just simply schedule many of the tasks on your phone so for example if you want to turn on the aeroplane mode you can just simply schedule that from a limited time to a limited time and also when the battery reaches to 20% you can just simply select the activities that you want to do on your phone and from here you can just simply add the conditions so let's say for example at 2 am you want to add something on your phone so you can just simply turn on cell silent mode aeroplane mode then mobile data so at the particular time the particular thing will be added so it's a nice feature i would say you can just simply schedule many of the task on your phone and then next here it says they have added a new feature where we can just simply set the start and the end time for the reading mode even when it's off so let me just quickly go to the reading mode settings and show you the actual feature that has been added so here in the display option in the reading mode here you can see a new change here that is known as start time or end time so when you click on the schedule button you can just simply schedule your reading mode time from a particular time till a particular time so you have an ability to customize the reading mode accordingly you want and then if you go next it says they have separated the app lock from the privacy protection password so let me just quickly go to this uh, uh, security app and from here let me show you the app lock feature so then you guys come to know that the app lock has been separated from this uh, privacy protection password thing so here in this app lock here you can see it has a separate icon so earlier it was in under the privacy pro privacy protection password thing but now if you go to this app lock feature you can just see that the app lock feature has been separated and now you can just simply select the app that you want to lock under the fingerprint scanner or under any kind of pin or pattern so it's not something major but again this is what it is so again let's just go back to this what's new session and from here the next thing is the optimization in this calendar so if you guys can notice the icons and the name of the month is now bigger the font for month and as well as date is been slightly increased so the font is slightly bigger here i would say compared to the previous one uh, it's just slightly bigger nothing uh, like uh, almost twice or something like that but just slightly a uh, small improvement here as you guys can see so these were some of the small changes and improvements in this miui 8 6.10.13 beta update i would say to sum it up this update is just a, a mixture of new features as well as some bug fixes If you ask me personally then the biggest change that I like about this update is related to the OTP section where the OTP is now stayed in the floating center for more than a longer time so usually around more than 8 to 9 seconds the notification will be floating on the toggle center so that's what I like the most and apart from that everything is still the same uh, slightly improvements and maybe some bug fixes but apart from that nothing has changed major Now I need to test the battery life cause the battery life that I feel after updating to the MIUI beta ROMs the battery life has been decreasing quite a bit faster uh, earlier when I was on the stable ROM the battery life was quite enough good but now the battery life has been decreasing and also the charging time is taking a lot time uh, it, it takes almost to charge to 100% uh, more than uh, 3 to 3 and 1/2 hours so I don't know uh, when will this bug will get fixed so let's hope that Xiaomi will fix this issue in the future updates So again guys that's all for this quick overview of this Mi UI 8 6.10.13 beta update if you guys have any particular questions regarding this update then you can ask them in the comment section below i want to tell all the viewers that this update is only for developer rom and not the stable rom 
so if you are on the stable rom then this features will be added on the stable rom by the next month i feel if you found this video helpful then i'd appreciate if you can click the like button below and also don't forget to subscribe game of point to stay updated with all the latest me ui 8 updates in the future so again guys that's all for this video then thank you guys so much for watching this is your host amok signing off bye bye and take care